Hello everyone. Let's work on this right away. X plus 3 to the power of 4 equals 16, right? Okay, very simple. This is x plus 3 to the power of 4. And 16 here can be the same as 4 to the power of 2, right? Okay, so what if I take the square root of the left? I would equally take the square root, I would equally take the square root of the right, okay? So x plus 3 to the power of 4, take the square root of that. Then I will have to take the square root of 4 squared, but positive or negative. Now this is going to go there, and what we'll have on the right is going to be plus or minus 4. And then on the left, this will go into this, and 2 will remain. Because square root is the same as... Um, Okay, for example, let me use this to explain this. Imagine we have the square root of x. This is going to be x to the power of 1 over 2, right? So this is what happened here. So this 2 will go into 4 and it gives 2. So we're having x plus 3 squared. Okay, I already have this here. To be equal to plus or minus 4. Simple, isn't it? By the way, if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe so you can get more of my videos because i have this come up not less than twice a day so now i'm going to expand this the expansion of this is going to give us x squared plus okay we have from um, 6x right okay let me give you the standard that you're going to use right the standard if you have this right imagine you have um a nothing is here a plus um b to the power of two this is the same thing as a squared plus two a b plus b squared in this case our a is x our b is 3. So if we want to expand this according to this, a squared is x squared. So write your x squared plus 2ab is going to be 2 times x times 3. And that will give us 6x, right? And that, that was the reason I wanted to write 6 before now. So we're having um, 6x then plus b squared which is going to be 3 squared and it is what 9 so the whole of this now will be equal to plus or minus 4 so what do i do i'm having plus or minus here take note of this okay i'm going to pick plus 4 first so i have x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 4 so that's x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 4 will now be equal to 0. So at this point, what do you think I do? Subtract this, right? So we have x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals 0. 9 minus 4 is 5. So we're going to use this formula right away. The formula is, um, this is a quadratic equation. So we're going to use quadratic formula x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a right so from here now do you know that our a is 1 the coefficient of x squared our b is 6 and our c is 5 the constant so we're going to put all of those into this formula x is what we are looking for so it will be equal to minus b which is minus 6 plus or minus we have the square root of b squared what is b squared a b squared will now become 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 5 because a is 1 a is 1 and c is 5 so this will be divided by 2 times 1 because a remains 1 now our x from here will be minus 6 
plus or minus what is the square of 6 that is 36 minus 4 times 1 times 5 is 20 so we divide this by 2 now if we proceed from here we're going to have x to be minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 20 is what 16 right then this is divided by 2 and luckily for us 16 here is a perfect square so let's continue with this okay so our x now will be minus 6 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 then we divide by 2 so from here now we are going to have this in two places x is equal to minus 6 plus 4 over 2 or minus 6 minus 4 divided by 2 so if we go ahead now you will see that x is this plus this will give us minus 2 so we have it over 2 or here we have minus 10 and we have it over 2 if we proceed x will now be minus 1 or minus 5 so here we have two solutions if you can remember I left out one equation and I'm going there to pick it now so we're going to have x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals negative 4 the first one I used is negative is positive 4 so now we have negative 4 so now x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus this is going to be 13 because this becomes positive here is equal to 0 now our x is equal to minus 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a quadratic general formula so that our x will now be how did i write this b i mean this 6 this is supposed to be b not 6 right but then our b is 6 so it's um, almost the same thing so x will now be minus 6 plus or minus b squared will still be that 6 squared then minus 4 times 1 because a is 1 but c is now 13 and then we divide this by 2 times 1 to go ahead now our x is going to be minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared is 36 4 times 1 is 4 4 times 13 is 52 and then we divide this by 2 2 times 1 is 2 okay so we are going to continue so that x will now be minus 6 plus or minus square root of negative 36 minus 52 is negative 16 and then we divide by 2 the only difference between this and the first is this negative 16 right so if we proceed now our x is going to be minus 6 plus or minus square root of negative 16 is 4i and this will be over 2 so if we proceed now we are going to get x to be equal to minus 6 plus 4i over 2 or minus 6 minus 4i over 2 so if we proceed again this will go here so that x will now be minus 3 then plus the same 2 will go here then we'll have 2i so x is either this or this will go there again we have minus 3 then minus this will go here and we will have um, minus 2i so from here again we have two more solutions and this means that the given equation has four solutions.